Why are investment banks and hedge funds still using Excel? And why are they still using VBA programming, which is a pretty antiquated programming language, especially when you compare it with something beautiful like Python? There are a bunch of answers to this. And just the short of it is Excel is not going away anytime soon. And VBA is not going away anytime soon, at least on the trading desk. I'm going to give you my three favorite answers as to why this is true. So first of all, legacy reporting. Now, if you work in investment banking, you've undoubtedly heard the words legacy reports. It used to mean that 20 years ago, there was some old fellow on the desk who used some very strange tool or old technology or old programming language to design something, which became a staple of the trading desk. Everyone became attached to it. And honestly, no one knows the technology anymore, but people just use it because Nobody dares try to replace it. It's so important. They don't have time, whatever it is. But when you come down to work or you start as an intern or an analyst, you see all these new shiny tools and then this one really old website that you have to go to to access some data or something. And it was like, oh, that's the legacy site or something like that. So that's a term that's been thrown around a lot in banking. But now, since turnover is so high, pretty much across the corporate world, Legacy can now refer to something that the previous team built, even though turnover is every three years. So three years ago, someone on the team wrote something in VBA, for example, and now everyone only knows Python. That VBA report is now a legacy report, and it will linger. Like I mentioned before, a lot of these legacy reports or tools that are used for trading become staples in the trading pattern in the, in the in the way you're trading day on day. And because of that, it's not easy to just say, okay, we're going to get off this and move to something else. So they stick for a long time, often a lot longer than they should. Number two, the, uh, the alternative to using Microsoft Excel and VBA is to use Google Sheets and scripts, really. Now, yes, you can use Python within Excel, but that's not native. And because of that, Aside from asking people to write programming, you're now asking them to learn how to integrate languages within Excel, which is not something simple for people who don't understand coding. So natively, Google has Google Scripts, which is such a pain to write. Even just to write that one cell should equal another cell is really confusing to read and to write. On top of that, when you finally write your scripts, like, are they attached to sheets? Are they attached to users? You have this whole timer functionality. It's a very big mess to see where they exist and how to run them. I personally tried it myself and found it to be a pretty big mess. I made this really beautiful Google Sheet, which is all these great scripts, and it does everything exactly I wanted. And I woke up the next day, and I got 13 emails about how my, all my scripts are failing. It's just a pain. I don't want to deal with it anymore. So an, as a native programming language, VBA is way better than Google Scripts, at least now. I'm sure Google will improve their game. Also, within Excel, you could just push the little record button on top of the sheet. I know Google has something similar, but it's not nearly as good. Within Excel, you just push the record button, you do whatever you want, you press stop, and you have a script. So even people who don't know programming, and I've seen a lot of traders who know nothing about coding, I've seen them do this. They have this process they do every day. Okay, I do this, I highlight this cell, I copy it, I paste it here, I delete this. And they just go about their daily routine, but they push the record button first. And they save that macro as a little icon on top of the Excel sheet. And every day they come in and they pull the data from their email into their Excel sheet. They push their little fancy button and they're done. They save themselves 15 minutes a day. I've seen traders with no program experience do this. It's a really big pain to do in Google. It's very easy to do in Excel VBA. So they do it. And the third and final thing is everyone's going to use Excel or some sort of spreadsheet tool because especially traders, they have to jot some stuff down. Whether it's an email they got uh, with the table or some trade ideas they have, they're going to jot something down somewhere. So it's either Excel or Google Sheets, quite frankly. Now, ultimately, these things become tools as they jot them down. But putting that aside for one second, so you put down this table, where are you going to store it? Now, for us or the younger generation, it kind of makes sense to put it in Google Sheets because it's really easy. Everything, you know, it's accessible wherever, but that's kind of the problem, and that is security. Big banks do not like when their stuff is stored on Google, whereas once somebody has 
anybody's you know login, they can just access the sheets. Now I know there are tighter securities than I'm making it out to be, but in the minds of the banks, it's just one password away from all the trade secrets leaking to the world. And they're very not comfortable with all of their sheets and their trade ideas and everything just floating around the web. And when it's in Excel, it's on the local machines, or at least it's on their private servers and they have much more control over it. It's just the way the banks feel. I know there are some firms that are kind of moving towards either Google Sheets or, or other options such as AWS, but right now most of the firms just feel more comfortable when all their data is local in their own servers or within their uh, just on their own machines. So the three things are legacy reporting, a better native programming language and recording functionality, and security. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time. I've got some super exciting news for you. On June 26, I will be starting my first ever mega bootcamp where I teach Excel, VBA, SQL, advanced SQL, database structures, entry-level Python, and some financial topics to boot. All of these require zero prerequisites, so if you've never coded a day in your life, now is an excellent time to start. I'm gonna take you from that boring finance student or analyst and make you into a beast of a programmer with some really cool technical skills. On top of that, after we finish the bootcamp, I'm gonna sit down with everyone and show you how to take these awesome skills that are integrated within financial concepts and highlight them so well in your resume that you are your resume is just gonna get noticed before everyone else's and you're going to get more interviews. I'm really excited for this bootcamp space is limited, so sign up today at advanced datareporting.com. Space is limited again. It's going to be eight live sessions and the final session is going to be a full day session live in New York. If you're not in New York, like all the sessions, it will be live streamed to all the students as well as recorded and saved and you can go back and watch it anytime for a complete year. I can't wait to meet you all personally and learn more about you. I'll see you there.